Oh yeah, I got this one. Right. I like them though. All right. Let's. Uh oh, still watching. On my way to my first practice as a Baltimore Brigade dancer, I am very, very excited. This is the AFL's team first year, so that means this is the dance team's first year, you know, because if you ain't first, you last. You know, I'm just playing. Anyway, um, I don't really have, I'm not too nervous. I do know a few of my teammates or know of them, so I'm not completely by myself, but, um, I'm not expecting anything but positive things to happen, so let's see what's up. Y'all got it together now? We are all done with our practice. Tell them how you feel about our first practice. I'm hungry and it was hot. Ooh, I'm about to go to the grocery store. <laughs> no, for real, for real. Because they got fruit on sale. That's a great suggestion. <laughs> but then, like, they mangoes be real, real sweet. So, like, I'm so sleepy. Oh, no. Say hey, y'all. Say hey. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where and that's it for today. See y'all on Saturday. Bye y'all, don't be driving fast. Girl. <laughs>the day after my first Baltimore Brigade practice and like I said yesterday it was amazing it wasn't nothing short of what I expected it to be like I said I knew most of the girls that would be there or knew of them I don't know them like personally yet but even the girls that I hadn't met yet they were cool too so I really feel like we're gonna be a cool team nobody has any in short, there aren't going to be any issues, no bad girls club, no cat fights, which is what I want because, you know, when you have to deal with extra stuff like that, it just takes away from everything else you can be doing. And, you know, we're all young adults or grown women as whatever you want to call us. But, you know, the thing, bottom line is we're mature and I just feel like we won't have to waste any time with any of that extra unnecessary mess that we don't just have to deal with. So anyway, um, like I said, like I was saying before I went on that little tangent or whatever, yesterday was bomb. My coach or our coach is very bomb. I wasn't, um, I wasn't too acquainted with her. I did meet her at a workshop in January, but I only got to see her on the surface. I hadn't really gotten to know her yet, but she's really bomb. I love her style. Her style is very similar to mine. She has more of a cheer background, but it's still very similar to mine. And I feel like when you can click with people as a dancer or as in any other talent that you may have, when you can click with your coach or your collaborator, whoever you're working with, when you can click with them, it just works so much smoother in your favor and theirs too. But it's just a great feeling that I just, I really can't even explain it. It's just a really good feeling that I have about this. It's just a really good feeling that I have about this. So, um, what else is going on? Oh, Saturday is our first photo shoot before, okay. Saturday is our photo shoot. Um, okay, whatever. Uh, what else is going on? Um, Saturday, we're having our photo shoot. And y'all know I'm already excited. What girl don't like to take pictures? Okay, right. So, uh, the best thing... So the best thing about this photo shoot is we're going to have a glam squad on set. So we're going to have the whole hair and makeup and it's just like, you know, just feeling all important. I can't wait. Um, I'm not, I haven't decided if I want to uh, do my sew-in today or tomorrow, but I'm going to figure it out because I have the next two days off. Oh.
I'm not sure when exactly I'm going to tame this little beast we have here, but um, it's going to get done. And Saturday is going to be amazing, and I'm going to take you guys on that little adventure with me as well. Um, I'm not going to be able to show you everything. You know, we got to keep some things on hush-hush, but you guys will be with me to see some of the little behind the scene action or whatever and that was another thing yesterday i wish i could have showed you some of the things in practice but you know like i said this is our first year and we have to keep even if it wasn't our first year we just have to keep a lot of things under wraps for a while so you guys understand it's all right when we have our first game day you'll see like everything and then you'll be like oh okay it makes sense it's still like crazy to me that i made this team uh, for those of you guys that don't know, or for some of you that do, that have been on this journey with me, I've been auditioning for a pro cheer team since 2013. I started with the Indiana Pacers, and I auditioned for them for four years, and I would make the finals, but wouldn't make the team, but you know it's okay. Uh, I want to say my second year auditioning for the Pacers, I ended up auditioning for their promo team, the Boom Babies made that team and I also later in that year auditioned for their WNBA team Indiana Fever and I did that as well but I still wanted to be on a pro team so what I began to do my um, my last year to be honest I really didn't have the intention on auditioning for the team again but in my head, I just felt like, you know, you have nothing to lose. If you want to do it that bad, just go ahead and do it, you know. So like I said, I did it, um, made it to the finals, but didn't make the team. So that summer, I went ahead and auditioned for the Charlotte Hornets as well as the Wizard Girls before I auditioned for the Pacemates for the fourth time. And I'm very glad that I had that experience because I was able to connect with different girls and get to know them and it actually worked out because I mean hey I moved to Maryland and I've made so many connections with different girls from the Wizards from the Redskins Baltimore Blast from a lot of different teams around the area and everybody's very very supportive here it's kind of like even though they're all different teams they're all one big dance family and I really really like that and I respect it a lot a lot of people don't realize that if you really want something to work you have to you have to get it you have to do it on your own nothing is hand given even the people that you think are being spoon fed or whatever they still had to do a little bit of something even if it was just the tiniest bit they had to do a little bit of something to get where they are and if you are one of those people that are like me that keep trying and trying and trying and you know you deserve it you keep going. You have to be persistent. Don't ever down yourself. Don't ever think that there's something wrong. And I don't know. I can't. I can't really. <sighs> I can't really tell you how to feel because everybody feels different. But the main point is that you try it again. You know. Shout out to my sister. Dust yourself off and try it again. You can dust it off and try. Anyway, the point is, is that if you really want it, you're going to try it. Now, some people feel like if they don't make the biggest thing, it's not what they want. All teams are the same. My team, we do the same thing that the Wizard Girls or any other NBA team or football team would do. We have photo shoots. We have games. We have practices. We have appearances. And you just have to be appreciative for those things. I am very, very humble and very, very proud to have the privilege to be on this team for its first year. And you just have to take all of that in. I could be just like, this is whatever, this isn't a big deal. But if I'm going to be that way, somebody else could have had my spot, you know. You just always have to be appreciative. You never know basically who's watching you because you don't know what they might say to somebody else and just as quickly as you got in the position you are it can be taken away from you so that's just my little tidbit from my adventure 
for all these years of auditioning but I'm just very very humbled to have this experience and like I said I just can't wait to see where this year is going to take us I like just have a feeling that this is going to be so amazing excuse me I won't put my house shoes on I just have a feeling that this year is going to be amazing it's gonna probably be a lot of little stories for me I'm gonna make new friends because that was one of my goals moving out here I have to make new friends I have my three best friends back home but I have to make some new friends out here just to have some people to hang around you know and yeah like it's just crazy to see how far I've come and how much further I still have to go so I'm going to um, get something to eat because I'm hungry y'all know how your girl do I'm always eating and I think I'm gonna run to the beauty supply store because I need to get some new eyelashes I want to try Gorilla Glue for my closure but I don't know because I be hearing some scary stuff and I kind of lay my closures well but I don't know I always like trying new stuff but I don't know I might have to go on YouTube and search a few things about Gorilla Glue because uh -uh, ain't nobody ripping out y'all see no we not no we not about to mess that up but I also need to find some earrings as well for the photo shoot and I want to get my nails and eyebrows done so catch you on Saturday